Well, we're finally done with our decking project. I'm gonna tell you how we got here and how this project was actually much more of a disaster than we had anticipated. Took a few years longer than we had hoped. Costed a lot more than we expected, but we are happy with the results. Stay tuned, I'll tell you the entire cost of this project and the materials that we chose to use. Now we had a wooden deck that was beginning to show its age. I had hoped that I could simply replace the surface. So I went to Lowe's and I bought a whole bunch of lumber, came out with some friends and began to pull the surface off of our deck. When we did that, I realized how bad the structure looked, which you really couldn't tell until you had that surface off. And I realized I was in for a major deck renovation, not really something that I had hoped to do. No problem, I thought. I'll save some money, I'll get some quotes, we'll go ahead and get our deck redone. Now, if you've been paying attention for a while, this was post-COVID. One of the things you may have realized that occurred during the time of COVID was that the price of wood skyrocketed. I ran into two problems when it came to getting this deck done. First, the price of wood more than tripled, and then second, labor and the availability of labor was way down. So even getting a contractor to come out and give you a quote was difficult. I live in South Carolina. South Carolina has proven to be one of the states that people really like to move to. Loud cars driving by. South Carolina was one of the states that people really like to move to, which means we have a lot of construction, a lot of demand. I finally got a contractor to come out and give me a quote. He said to redo my deck would be $37,000. Now that's more than double of what I had hoped. I thought, hey, this guy's crazy. Let me call another contractor. Called another contractor. He came over, measured everything out, did his little estimate. He said it would be $45,000. Ah, no problem. Two contractors that are totally crazy. Let me get a third one in. Well, the third guy who came in, added everything up, gave me his quote, $47,000. At this point, I realized we're not getting a deck done anytime soon. And there was something that I really didn't want to do, and that was to do this deck myself. The primary reason for that is, well, it's about 15 feet off of the ground. And you need these big old six by six posts. I didn't know how to set them. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I had no idea how to do. But getting quotes in the 40s made me realize I may end up having to do myself. The cost of wood began to come down. And so I had some friends, we estimated how much would it cost to get all of this done ourselves. Adding up all of the materials, if I was to do this myself, I actually could do this deck for around $15,000. One of the things that shows me is that the contractors, because they were so busy, they had so much work, were adding in $30,000 of labor simply because they could. Now you may think my situation is crazy and unique, but I actually talked to a friend down the street. He's got a smaller deck that's not even as high as mine. He got multiple quotes in the high 40s to get his deck redone. So unfortunately, it's a current reality that the cost of labor has skyrocketed now we chose to use composite decking. This is actually Timber Tech Coconut Husk. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about this color? Now, I actually don't care what you think because my wife likes it and that's really kind of all that matters. She picked the color. I like it, I think it matches well with our brick. And when it came to looking at composite, the cost of a composite board was about three times what the cost of wood. So if you just look at this surface alone, this cost me three times more what it would have to do wood. Now, all that said, the hidden fasteners are more expensive. Some of the fastening pieces that you need are more expensive when you go with composite. So there is some additional cost there. But it's not so simple as saying that composite is more expensive because if you do a wood surface, you are going to need to stain that within the first few months of having it down. Stain is not cheap. It's also labor intensive. If you pay somebody to do it, you're gonna pay a lot for it. And then you're gonna need to stain it every few years. Now, is it worth it to go with composite? Well, this, floor, this composite decking has a 25 year warranty. So I guess what I would say is get back to me in 15 to 20 years and I'll let you know whether it was worth it. In theory, this is a zero maintenance product. Now we did compare with Trex. We liked the Timber Tech as well. This is actually Timber Tech's lowest tier line. One of the things we liked about it is it does have a full cap of that composite material, whereas some of the Trex on their lower tier line was only capped on the top. So before I tell you how much this has cost and, and how we eventually got to where we are right now, be sure to hit that subscribe button, help my channel to grow.
So as I was beginning to be severely intimidated about how difficult it was going to be to set a 15 foot 6x6 post, a lot of things that I had never done before and to run my joists to attach my ledger board into the foundation of this house, it began to be a little intimidating. That's when I had an idea. I called the guy who gave me the $47,000 quote and I gave him a proposal. And I said, hey, what do you think about this? What if I go and buy all the lumber and I have the lumber here sitting in my yard? Then you show up and you just build the structure. Well, he immediately thought, yeah, I'd love to do that. And he, in fact, he said for $5,000, he'd show up with his crew, took him just a few days, and he'd go ahead and install all of the structure for this deck. Now it's interesting when you think about how busy contractors are. One of the reasons that this was appealing to him is he didn't have to go and price lumber. He didn't have to go and purchase it and pick it up. He could just show up, have two days worth of work and make himself $5,000. Now he did this with a crew of just three men total. So that's a pretty good wage for two days, but it worked out for me because what he did in two days would have taken me weeks and I would have had to learn or get a whole bunch of friends in here to help me. So that ended up being extremely valuable. Once we had all of the structure done and he was still over here, I actually said to him, hey, how much would it be for you to go ahead and install all the decking? Now I had already bought all my composite. I had bought my railing and it was all here. And I had kind of hoped, hey, this would be another quick and easy day for him and it would save me a ton of time. Well, at this point, he wanted six thousand dollars just to do the surface and the railing now installing composite decking is no more difficult than installing luxury vinyl plank flooring through your home now i've made a number of videos of doing that in our home and realizing that in a day he could install all of this decking and he was going to do it for a cost of six thousand dollars i began to think okay how much is six thousand dollars worth to me and i decided i'm going to try to do this myself this is when the cavalry came in had a bunch of friends come and help me out including my dad, watched a ton of YouTube videos on how to install composite decking. You do have to go and buy some particular blades to cut composite decking. We use the hidden fastener system that TimberTech has. And the other thing that I was sure to do was to put joist tape over all of the horizontal structure horizontal surfaces of the structure to over time, hopefully prevent the rot that I had seen when I pulled off the decking from my old deck. So I would say the challenge of deciding to do the surface and the railing myself was that it took me probably about a month. I was working in the evenings after work, trying to get a few rows in. And then in particular, the railing was something that I had no idea how to do. I Googled a lot for how do you cut metal railing. Didn't actually find a lot on that. However, thankfully my brother-in-law came over and he is much more handy than I am. He helped me knock out the remaining uh, remainder of this railing. And the good news is when you look at the railing, I think one of my fears was if I didn't get my posts all level and lined up nicely, you know, you'd look down your rail and you'd see a little wave like that. Thankfully that didn't happen. We got those all in there secure. It's a nice straight line. I'm very happy with this railing system. It is a railing by Fortress. It is a metal railing system. And one of the things that's cool about the railing system is if you get any nicks or scratches, they sell you a paint product that actually sprays on and will cover those. So hopefully over time, this is a railing that will last. Let's talk now total cost of doing this deck. I paid $5,000 to have the structure itself installed. The wood for the structure was under $2,000, so it's not as much wood as you would have thought. Now, thankfully, the price of wood has dropped significantly from that peak of just a few years ago. Purchasing all the decking was over $7,500, including the rail system itself. And then when you add up all the miscellaneous decking screws, hidden fasteners, all the caps and components necessary for the railing. This deck came out to just over $18,000. Now, originally when we went to do our deck, I was hoping I could do it for $15,000. Now that proved unrealistic. And there's one glaring omission on this deck so far, and that is the stairs. So I'm in over $18,000 and we still don't have a set of stairs for this deck. And when it comes to the stairs, I'm running into the same problem I had with the decking at the first time. Number of contractors has said they're not interested in doing stairs. I've called specific stair places, especially some guys that make metal stairs. I can't even get them to call me back. 
So right now we've got our deck all secured off and we don't have any stairs in the long run. We would like stairs, especially having a dog. It'd be nice to let him go down into the yard but let me know what you think. How do you think our deck turned out? We're very happy with it now that we're three or four months in. I think it looks great. I'm hopeful that in the long term, the extra expense for composite probably an extra five or six thousand dollars for this deck as a whole will be worth it this deck has a 25 year warranty from timber tech i would love to believe it will last that long or longer this is jason for poodle dad like this video if it was helpful subscribe if you want to see more content like this and i'll catch you in the next one